Hi, it's Abby Dyer Eminet. Welcome and thank you for joining. I am so glad that you're here. I help female coaches create attention grabbing social media copy using ChatGPT and other AI. I had an amazing week this week. I learned so much. And part of that is from listening, right? We learn when we listen. So if you're on with me, I would love for you to give me some hearts and likes so that other people in the group know that I'm going live because we are going to talk about what the heck is a chatbot. I learned that I needed to answer this question by really listening this week, really listening to my ideal client and what my ideal client is looking for. And what I found out is when I said the term bot, some folks didn't know what I was talking about at all. And for me, that's one of those things where I've been involved in the development of bots for the last four or five years. So it seems so, of course, everybody knows that, but they don't, they absolutely do not. And so, and why would you, this is a totally new uh, opportunity in the field of tech uh, to talk about bots and artificial intelligence and all of those things. I see that I have a couple of folks on. Thank you for joining me. We're going to talk about what the heck a chatbot is and why you care. Uh, ultimately, I'm going to guess that at some point you've struggled with consistency, uh, especially in your social media, and you want a way to be able to do that better than you're doing it today because you're sitting in front of the screen, wasting 20 minutes, trying to write a post and thinking, what am I going to write about? What do people want to know? It is a place that all of us have been. And the great thing about chatbots is that they can help you. They can be like the assistant that you don't have to pay $40,000 a year for. It's amazing. I, I find it very magical. I feel like I, I have a, a wand and I'm able to make magic happen when I talk about using chatbots. So this mini training is to start at the beginning, start at the beginning of what a chatbot is and talk about how you might be using it already in your business. And if you're not, what you should be using a chatbot for. And today we're gonna to talk about ChatGPT and the 3.5 version of ChatGPT. That's the free version, um, if you are using a free version of ChatGPT right now. Who am I? I am Abby Dyer Eminette, chat GPT expert and coach. I have been in the tech space uh, helping female entrepreneurs the last three years. I definitely have worked with my clients on their tech needs. So whether that is scheduling, whether that is creating a Facebook group, whether that's creating a Facebook post, we've also worked on content. It was a very natural thing for me to start working with coaches in the online space on something like chat GPT. Again, it's something that I do in my corporate life. I have been in corporate operations for about 25 years. I can't believe it. In some ways I can't, and in some ways I can't. The last four or five years, I've had an opportunity to work on automation. And so this is a day in, day out kind of conversation for me, but I know it's not for most female entrepreneurs. Most female coaches, you wanna see your clients, right? That's where you wanna spend your time. You don't wanna spend your time in content. And you might be feeling like, well, I need to bulk write my content. In fact, I saw a post this morning that somebody wrote about the fact that they were doing that. Uh, or you see somebody advertise, I'm gonna help you with 365 days worth of content. Well, it's probably never a good idea because we need to be adjusting our content to our ideal client. But especially now, you have the opportunity to use a bot. So let's talk about that. One of the common misconceptions that's happening right now is that AI is new. I'm going to blow your mind right now. AI is not new. AI has been something that big corporations have been using for a long time. So if you think about uh, your Apple, your phone, and you say, hey, Siri, AI, mm -hmm. or, oh, and she just answered, <laughs> or Alexa, 
You have Alexa in your house, AI. If you are using Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, any of those, they have been using AI. Now, the beauty that I find right now from an AI perspective is that this AI from a chat GPT perspective is the same thing that big multi-billion dollar corporations are working on in integrating into their business. And you can too, right? Isn't that crazy? Most of the time we're like, I'm just small. I'm just a solopreneur or I'm just a small business. I'm not going to have the same kind of tech that multi-million dollar and multi-billion dollar companies have. Well, yes, you are. You absolutely are. You can if you want to. So ChatGPT is a type of AI chatbot. That was the first thing that I wanted to make sure we covered today. If you have used ChatGPT, you've already used a bot. You've already used a chatbot. Now, not all chatbots are created equal, which is where I'm guessing you might be finding some challenge if you're running into, I don't feel like what I'm getting out of ChatGPT sounds authentic, sounds like me, is in my voice, is my brand. If those are things that you're feeling, I'm going to tell you why. So let's go here. The second thing that I want to say is in the fine print, ChatGPT can make mistakes. Consider checking important information. This is not perfection. This is progress, not perfection. AI is, is relatively new from a in our hands perspective, right? From an individual perspective where you're trying to use it in your social media or in your business, and it's not perfect. So keep that in mind, even if you get the best version of a chatbot, it is still not a person. Here's how I would describe ChatGPT 3.5. And this is where I would encourage you to start. If you are just getting into bots or just getting into understanding what a chatbot is and how it can help you in your coaching or your online entrepreneurial business, ChatGPT Chat 3.5 is free. It's created by a company called OpenAI. And I would describe it as a college intern. So if you were going to hire a college intern in your business, ChatGPT 3.5 can probably give you some of the things that a college intern could give you. What does ChatGPT 3.5 do really, really well? It can help you write a letter all kinds of letters. The, the first one that I thought of today when I was putting together this training for you was we're having a change here locally in our elementary schools. And there's lots of discussion and debate about where should the school be? What are we going to do while they, while they build the school? That kind of thing. ChatGPT can absolutely write you a letter that you can send to the school board. ChatGPT 3.5 can give you a recipe, any kind of recipe, and I'm going to show you in just a minute. It can give you ideas for your social media posts. It can give you ideas for content. If you have a blog, you want to write an article, anything from a basic content perspective that you're wanting to use. And this is how it works. You input a prompt. And if you look right up there, you input, write me a letter to my local school board regarding concerns about a new school plan. Click. Two seconds later, I have a letter formatted in a very professional way to send to my school board on the topic that I'm concerned about. Right? I mean, that's, that's really cool, right? It's And something useful. Absolutely. Here's another one. Give me a recipe for veggie chili. As many of you know, uh, I was a vegetarian for a really long time. Uh, I am currently really focused on my health and trying to make that a long-term uh, plan and a long-term goal. 
a long-term thing to keep because I have an eight-year-old and I need to be in the best shape that I can to help take care of him. So I asked, give me a recipe for veggie chili. And what is that? It's a beautiful recipe for veggie chili. It's another great thing that ChatGPT 3.5 is good at. What does it not do well has got to be your next logical question. So it can write letters. It can give me recipes. It can give me ideas. It can even give me basic content. But what does it not do well? And my gut tells me, like many of my clients, you're feeling this as you were trying to use ChatGPT 3.5 for your content. I hear things like, it doesn't sound like me. It's not authentic sounding. Those are words I wouldn't say. It doesn't have the right tone. It doesn't feel like my brand. Well, that's because 3.5 struggles with in-depth content comprehension. It means it doesn't understand, right? And as cool as artificial intelligence is, and the fact that we're even getting to talk about this, 3.5 does not have that. It is also, and OpenAI says this, not as smart or as accurate as ChatGPT 4.0. Now, you say to, 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 to me, Abby, I didn't even know there was a difference. There is. So ChatGPT 3.5 is the free version. ChatGPT 4.0 is the paid version from OpenAI. One of the things that you may have noticed is you have to put your prompts in over and over and over again in 3.5. A single chat, which I'll show you in just a second, remembers the info that's in that single chat. But the minute you start a new chat, it doesn't remember. Again, it's your college intern. And it's not going to sound authentically like you. It's not intended to. ChatGPT 3.5 can write a Facebook post. Now, ask me if it should or if it can, because there's a difference between should and can. It can. I'm going to show you that. Write a short Facebook post with lots of emojis explaining the basics of ChatGPT. It wrote me a post. It's not a bad post. It's actually a good post compared to what I might have written on my own or how I tried to use emojis on my own, it, it's a decent post. Again, it's your college intern. Here's one of my posts. This is from January of 2023. So I had a lot to learn about Facebook posts. And this is what mine looked like. I have all of the same <laughs> emoji. I was trying really hard. All of the same emoji except one. And just visually, there's not a lot of white space. There's not any building. There's not any underlining. I didn't use various types of emojis. It's got a lot of opportunity. So if I go back to what ChatGPT 3.5 did, not a bad job in a post. Now, I'm going to show you the difference. And again, let me go back. This is 3.5. This is 4.0. Now, the difference with 4.0, besides the fact that it is a paid version of ChatGPT, you can configure, which basically means train, the chatbot to function like a marketing expert. And I call them marketing expert assistants because at the end of the day, even if it's 4.0, it's AI and it's not perfect. If you're looking for perfect, the AI space is not for you right now <laughs> because we're just not there. It, it just is not developed well enough to do that yet. So let me go back. This is what I would have done or did on my own. This is actually from January. I was really excited about going and finding some snow. That's what Chat GPT 3.5 did. But that is what 4.0 can do. It can take it to the next level. It can function 
as a marketing expert assistant for you. So we've learned what a chatbot is and why when Abby says bot, that's what she's talking about. It is a chatbot. We've talked about the fact that it's good at a lot of things, basic things, recipes, letters, ideas, some basic kind of content. But ultimately, at the end of the day, if I think about what the female coaches that I work with want for their content, 3.5 is not going to achieve that. Because again, we talked about it. 3.5 is a college intern. They, they don't have a lot of business experience. You're going to have to repeat things multiple times. It is just not going to be the same as someone who is trained and remembers what they were trained on. Again, and let me go here. Here at the bottom, that's a chat. This line right here is a chat. Message marketing expert Abby. That, that's a chat. When you're in 3.5, you have to stay in the one that you're in. The minute you start a new one, you've started a whole new conversation that doesn't remember anything you talked about. In 4.0, that is different. You can configure them to be a marketing expert assistant. And that is the exciting thing that I'm doing this year for my one-on-one -on -one clients. And I'm thinking about offering it as a done-for-you service. Ultimately, I love working with people. And so that's never going to be replaced for me in, in my coaching business. It just won't. That's not what I want to do. I want to work with people. So there will be absolutely one-on-one -on -one coaching and support on my done-for-you products. And for me, there's always a 100% money-back guarantee on any coaching session you do with me. If you do not get value from that session, it would not be ethically right for me to charge you for that. I feel really strongly about the fact that you should not coach with someone and not get value from it. So at the end of the day, I'm thinking about offering some of these configurable, customized bots that you can build in 4.0 as well. But definitely my one-on-one -on -one clients this year get it. So at the end of the day, here's the post from ChatGPT in 4.0. And here's my final version. So if I go back, and if you have posts that look like this, that's fine, right? We all start with the very best that we have the resources to do. And this was my best at the time back in January of 2023. But I've learned a lot since then, things that you don't have to spend that much time learning. I, I can help you jumpstart that and go from the one I showed you to a, a version of chat GPT that I would say is your marketing expert assistant as opposed to your college intern. And then I have posts that look like this, posts that are attention grabbing, they jump out on the page, people read them, you get comments, you get likes. That is the end of our discussion on what the heck is a chat bot? I knew that it was important to do this after I did some market research this week and I talked about bots and I had several people who were like, okay, back up the train. <laughs> I don't know what a bot is. So that's your, your chat bot intro. If you are interested in knowing more, you want to learn more about 3.5, you want to use it differently, there is a limit to what 3.5 will do but it's a great place to start from a free version perspective. If you're interested in learning more about being able to create content on demand, you want to be more consistent in your social media posting right now, you are feeling frustrated because you're not consistent because you feel inspired one day and you do a post and then the next day you don't feel ins as inspired or you can't think of anything or you're like, I don't know what they're going to care about or want to know. These types of tools help us get past those, those humps and we all have them.
So when I started in the online space, I had zero content. Zero. I felt really bad about that. I felt really insecure about that. I had a lot of imposter syndrome because of that. What I'm telling you is now I don't, and I don't have to, and you don't have to, because this is fairly simple. There's a lot of tech that isn't, but you can absolutely go in and use 3.5 today from what I've showed you. Now, if you want to go back and watch this again, follow the steps, you absolutely can, but you can use a chat bot today to help you in your business. I encourage you to take it to the next level, to 4.0, and let's think about how we customize a marketing expert assistant for you, somebody that knows you and your business. So if you're interested in that, DM me or use the Calendly link, set up time, let's chat. I typically work with clients on content strategy. We work on getting consistent, we work on how you leverage ChatGPT to make your life easier so that you are not sitting at your computer like this, trying to figure out what you're going to write about. And I also want you to know that ChatGPT isn't just something that you write a post on your own and then you put it into ChatGPT and recycle it. There are so many things that ChatGPT 4.0 can do, but that is not today's video. Today's video was, what the heck is a chatbot, Abby? So we have gone over that, and I'm going to wish you a beautiful day, a beautiful week or weekend, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.